welcome back to my channel. It is another BFRB Awareness Week video and I am so excited you guys. This is a great video that I have been so excited to share with you because we are talking all about toys for trichotillomania. Trichotillomania is a body focused repetitive behavior where you find yourself pulling out your hair anywhere on your body. In my second video in my BFRB Awareness Week series, I talked about all these different tips and tricks that I like to use to manage my trichotillomania. In one of the videos, I mentioned trick toys. So these are handheld toys that I like to use that help kind of refocus my attention to my hands and less like up into my hair. Now, toys for trick are very, very personal. I feel like what one toy for one person isn't going to be as successful for another. So the best advice that I could give someone who is trying to find the right toy for them is to do a lot of experimenting. Try every single different type of toy you have, look for things around your house, anything that you can find like that helps you with fidgeting or distracts your hands can definitely be a benefit to keeping your hands out of your hair. The toys that I'm gonna share with you today have been divided into some categories that kind of clump them all together in either similar ways of play or texture or things that they help kind of simulate. So the different categories that I've created for my trick toys are the malleables, the squishers, the pullers, the hair simulators, the miscellaneous, and the toys that I don't use. So the first category of toys are the malleables. So these are the putties. These are things like Silly Putty or Crazy Aaron's Putty World. Silly Putty is probably the most inexpensive one you can find. I personally found mine at Walmart, but I'm sure you could find them online or in other toy stores. I like very, very soft putty, putty that's easily malleable, either with two hands or with one. And with Silly Putty, it comes out of the package rock hard. And one of the tips that I have for using Silly Putty is if you really want to soften it up very, very quickly, I would highly recommend putting lotion on your hands and then playing with Silly Putty. I believe the lotion and the oils from your hands definitely softens it up really, really quickly. I was able to notice this with um, using cuticle oil on my nails. I would put cuticle oil on my nails and then I would start playing with my Silly Putty and it would be pretty soft within a couple of days of doing this. The other brand of putty that I really, really enjoy is this Crazy Aaron's Putty World. This stuff is awesome. First off, it's a lot bigger than your regular Silly Putty eggs. So if you find that Silly Putty just doesn't quite have enough putty for you, I would highly recommend looking into these Putty World putties because there's an enormous amount of putty in here. The nice thing about this brand is that they do come in different sizes. So there's this large size or there's like a smaller size that gives you probably a quarter of the size of this amount of putty. So it just depends on what you're looking for. I would definitely say to steer clear of like the slime or the oozy type putty. They leave a lot of moisture on your hands that can be sticky and a little bit irritating. I've also had some of them stain my clothes when I've dropped it on my lap or if I've dropped it on my shirt. They're kind of oily and greasy and they leave stains on my clothes. So I would really recommend staying away from the slime and oozy type putties and stick more towards like Silly Putty or the Putty World putties because they're not going to stain your clothes and they're really, really soft and they don't leave any like residue on your hands. So my second category would be the squishers. So these would be like stress balls or like those tubes that are full of water, um, those balls that are full of like those Orby kind of beads and things like that. I don't generally use stress balls. However, I do enjoy using fashions. They come in these little kind of cylindrical containers. Once you open it, what you have inside are these little rubberized toys. They are highly rubberized to the point that like your hands kind of drag and get caught on them as you're rubbing your fingers across them. I categorize them as squishies because they are rather squishy, but for me, they're a little bit more entertaining and a little bit more interesting than just your average stress ball. They have these different kind of rubbery type components, like their legs are kind of rubbery and twisty. You can pull on their ears. You can kind of dink around with that uh, unicorn horn. They're perfect for one-handed play. So if you're on the computer, if you're driving, if you're on the phone, I feel like these are very, very useful for when you have only one hand available for playing with toys because they're quite 
easy to roll around with one hand. You can kind of rub your fingers over parts of the fascia. You can spread things apart. It's definitely great for one-handed play. The next category that I want to share with you guys are pullers. Now these are rubbery type toys that have rubber hairs on them. These are fantastic for those of us with trichotillomania that really love that pulling sensation because this definitely can help you kind of imitate that sensation without actually pulling out the hairs in your head. The first ones that I want to share with you are these little rubberized caterpillars that I found at Michael's. They're just these cute little rubbery caterpillars with these really small rubberized hairs that you can actually physically pull and they won't come off. Now along with these little rubbery uh, caterpillars, I have this little bracelet thing that I found at a toy store. This is called a squiglet, wearable critters from Toy Smith. It has these rubbery kind of hairs that are so easy and so nice for pulling. I do like switching it up with this like bracelet and these little caterpillars because of the varying size of the hairs. These ones are very small and very fine and I love that these ones are a little bit thicker and longer so it's really nice to interchange between the both of these because you get the same like pulling sensation but for me they're very they're very different from one another so when I get tired of playing with this one I'll switch it over to this one where I still get that same pulling sensation it's just a different texture which sometimes I need because I get bored really, really fast. This next category of toys that I find extremely useful for my trichotillomania will be hair simulators. The first option is actually something I had in my home for years. It's this kind of furry, hairy yarn. It's just a small string of yarn that has like these little hairs that come off of it. They're super, super soft. They're very, very silky. And when you bundle them all up together, they definitely simulate the feeling of running your fingers through hair. Now, I really like this yarn because I was able to actually make a toy using the yarn. So this is a little um, hedgehog that I crocheted using that hairy yarn and it's perfect for playing with. It definitely has the simulation of hair. You can kind of feel it, you can twist it, you can pull it. Some of them do come like flying off but better than my own hair, right? Better than my own hair. The next um, hair simulator that I have are these little troll dolls. I like this one in particular more than the other troll dolls because it has more textured hair. So I would definitely recommend if you're looking for new trick toys to try out some of these troll dolls. A, they're super, super cute, but B, the hair on top of their head is actually really, really fun to play with and a great distraction for your hands. The next like kind of hair simulator that I have is Chef Mario's Hyperflex Ziggy Pasta. They're just these really rubberized kind of long strands of zigzaggy pasta type pieces that are so much fun to play with. So they are kind of stretchy, so you can do that pull simulation if you like that but they're also really good for just kind of messing up and getting your fingers all like deep in there, which I again, really, really like, which kind of simulates the feeling of putting your fingers through your hair. Okay, so the next set of hair simulators that I found was actually just a happenstance type thing. I came across my graduation tassel and immediately I was instantly attracted to it because of the length of the tassel. Like I love kind of running my fingers through it. I don't wanna ruin it. I actually wanna keep this and hold on to it. So I went off to Target to try to find some tassels that I could use instead of my graduation tassel. The first one is this leathery tassel that I found in the bag section and like wallet accessory section at Target. The bonus with this one is that it's very, very inconspicuous. So you could hook it on your bag and it looks like just a cute little accessory but it has a dual purpose of being a trick toy. You can play with your tassel instead of pulling out something like this, which isn't necessarily like easily hidden, but this is a little bit more camouflaged and less like obvious that you're playing with something because it's like a bag accessory. The next tassel that I found at Target was in their curtain section where they have their curtains and curtain rods and like drapery accessories. And it's this little thing right here. I believe this is like something that you use to tie back your curtains. And of course I was attracted to it because it's got this really nice little tassel. What I love to do with this one is to kind of just zhuzh it up. Like that's the only way I can describe it is just to go in there and start zhuzhing around. It doesn't get like super tangly so there's no like resistance, but it's definitely highly engaging and very distracting. Um, distracting enough for me to like wanna play with this instead of playing with my hair, which 
is the point in all of this. The last tassel that I found at Target is um, this necklace that I found in, on, in the clearance section. Not only is the tassel super soft and really nice to run your fingers through, but again, it's an accessory. So you could actually like wear it around your neck. Very, very useful, but isn't like a glaring piece of hot pink plastic. Those are all of the hair simulators. Now we're moving into my miscellaneous. Another toy that's very popular among the trichotillomania community are these tangle toys. I'm not a huge fan of these simply because there's not enough finger action. I like getting all the fingers engaged. This one is just a little bit, I get bored with it too fast. The last thing that I have to share in my miscellaneous section would be this charm bracelet from high school. When I was going around my house trying to find trichotillomania toys, I came across my charm bracelet and it's perfect. So again, this is another example that you probably have things around your house that could easily work for fidgeting or for distracting your hands that way you don't pull out your hair. It's a camouflaged uh, toy, which I really appreciate because it just looks like a jewelry accessory. But when I start getting fidgety out in public, I can easily just kind of manipulate every single one of these charms, which has a different texture, a different shape, different little grooves that each of my fingers can explore, which definitely keep my hands out of my hair in public, which is a great Thing. So finally, the last category are toys that I don't use slash have. The first being spinner rings. I so desperately wanted to try to find a spinner ring before I filmed this video, but it took too long for one of them to ship in to me. Basically what they are are just rings that have a smaller ring on it that actually spins around your finger. So these again are highly, highly camouflaged trick toys where you can play with it in public without it being extremely obvious slash distracting to other people. The other toy that I know a lot of people in the Trichotillomania community like to use would be worry stones. These are small kind of flat stones that fit in the palm of your hand and they have a groove in there that's the perfect size for your thumb. It's a very, very camouflaged toy that a lot of people like to use. You can put them in your pocket and you can play with them in your pocket because they're very, very small. They fit in the palm of your hand and you can just sit there and rub the stone with your thumb. They're a very easy toy to play without in public. I personally don't find them that engaging enough because like I mentioned before, I have a very short attention span when it comes to these toys. So I need something that's highly interactive with my hands in order to distract them from going into my hair. So those are all the categories of toys that I like to use. A couple of words of advice when using toys is to make sure and have them in the spots where you play and pull with your hair the most. The other recommendation and the other uh, word of advice would be to rotate these toys a lot. I get very, very bored um, with things very quickly, so I have to rotate my toys probably every week and move them from one place to another. So that way I don't get bored with them in one place because once I get bored, then I start going back into my hair. So those are my toys. Those are the toys that I like to use to distract my hands. If there's a toy out there that you really, really love and I haven't mentioned it, please mention it in the comment section down below. Not only will it be helpful to me where I'm constantly um, looking for new toys and new things to play with, but it'll be helpful for other people that are looking for other toys that maybe none of these toys worked for them and they're looking for other suggestions. Feel free to load that comment section up with tons of trick toy suggestions because they would be greatly appreciated. But that is my video for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure and subscribe to my channel if you are new and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.